This is a short movie showing Image Pro Premiere version 9 in the DAB Analysis app. The main purpose of this application is to calculate the area and integrated optical density of the stained region or areas. To load the app in Image Pro Premiere, please see the short movie on how to load an app available through the Media Cybernetics website. To run the app, simply go to the Automate tab in the apps group, you'll see the various applications that you've loaded. In this case, I have the DAB Analysis app. By selecting that, the DAB Analysis toolbar will show up on the left-hand side of your desktop. From here, we can actually do a number of things. We can work with the active image. In this case, I have an image already open. If I have a series of images open on the desktop, I can work with all of the open images. And I can also select a directory of images by simply browsing to a specified folder and selecting those images. So in essence, I'll be doing a batch process. For purposes of this movie, I'm going to select the active image. If I have density or spatial calibration available, I can select that. Again, browsing to the correct folder. If I have a spatial calibration, I can browse to that specific calibration. In this case, um, I'm just going to select a, a sample calibration that we supply with Image Pro Premiere. And we also have a choice now. We can measure the whole image in this case, or if I select user-defined region of interest, I can define a specific region on the image to, to measure in. In that case, I simply go to the Select tab and I will draw my particular region of interest. In this case, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to select a polygon and just, again, just for example, draw a region. Right now, this is using the default um, count size measurements options where this is set up for doing this particular analysis. When we run this example, if this isn't quite right, or the DAB is slightly a little bit different in color. We can also, by using the checkbox here, manually adjust the color range. So in essence, we can resegment or resample the color to select the proper color and give you the proper segmentation. Again, for other applications, we can also uh, create a new settings file and save that uh, by going into the count size ribbon, setting up and actually saving the options once we have that workflow set up here. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about count size, there is also a short movie available on the Media Cybernetics website. All right, so I'll leave manually adjust color range off for the moment. And finally, under the options, we have a couple of options, annotate the original image. In essence, we can annotate our values and our measurement back to the original image. I can also create and save an annotated image. I can, we um, can also keep and save the grayscale image. And I can automatically export the data to Excel. For the purpose of this movie, I'm just going to create and save the annotated image, and I'm going to export measurements to Excel. We simply press the Execute button. And since I've already defined the region of interest, it's automatically taking that into account. So I just predefined it a little ahead of time. If I'm not happy with that, um, when I have the original image up, I can then define the region of interest here. It's just prompting me to use the tool from the regions of interest group. It's already selected the right tab. From there, I can do that. Here, I'm just going to continue. It's going through measuring just within that region of interest, create a new image based upon that. And now as I've select, selected that option to create and save the annotated image, it's now created and saved that annotated section or region of interest. In addition, I told it to export the data directly to Excel, and I have done that. Let me just expand this out a little second, and you can see how um, the information is also created. It includes the image name the data was derived from. For more information, please contact your dealer or local sales office. Thank you.